morning. We're vlogging today. Yesterday, we kind of just forgot. We really didn't film much. But today is a new day, right? We're ordering some lunch. And we'll see where else the day takes us. Here we are in beautiful Halstead, running over to Chicago Diner for some lunch, picking it up to go. Delicious sandwiches and shakes. We got two vegan shakes. Sarah got a Monte Cristo. Cristo. I got something called a dog something. Dag. Dagwood. The Dagwood. It's like their classic sandwich. So we'll show them when we get home. Um, not too far of a walk for us, but a delicious lunch. Okay, so yesterday we got Jamesy Boys monitor hung and the Chicago flag hung. We do need to um, steam it. It is a little bit wrinkly from the move. Um, but we're trying to get him used to his crib. We're doing some playtime in the crib. We're trying to do some naps in the crib. Um, basically, at around six months, our plan is to get him sleeping in here. So we're going to, over time, just get him used to it so it's not a total, total shock for him. Are you going to get? Are you going to get? Are you going to get me? I will put footage in that I actually took yesterday of him on his belly in here because he rolled over when no one was looking. I literally walked away to put what was in his hamper in the washer right outside his door, and I come back and he's on his belly. I got to see you roll, baby. You're a big kid. <laughs> You are silly. You are silly. Also, his rash is basically totally gone. We did the full week with half hydrocortisone, 1%, and then like a fungal cream mixture. And now we're just going to do the fungal cream. Hey, where'd your sack go? Um, and just stick to it for about another week to make sure it really is on the way out. But so, so thankful. He's still very drooly. But um so thankful that rash was that rash was gnarly. Oh you got me. Oh you got me. So a little update on me after my vaccination on Monday. Like I said earlier, we basically just didn't film enough for a full vlog yesterday. Peter had a tough day at work. Um and we just kind of just didn't film and like it was we were going to bed and I was like, I don't think we have a vlog. Um but anywho, overnight I did have the, a similar reaction to Peter where I had chills, fever, headache. But then when I woke up, I was good. I've kind of been feeling just like icky. Nothing too bad. The headache comes in and out, but I kind of am always a headachey person. Um, but I'm almost 100%, so feel good about that. Peter's the same. Um, and then another... Let's eat. Peter's got food. Um, an update on Evie Girl. Her belly's good. Honestly, we think that she just ate too much that day. She is not somebody who eats a lot. Like she is kind of just a grazer when it comes to her food bowl. But on Saturday, she had eaten a lot of wet food, which she typically does not do. So we think that's just why that had happened, but we still wanted to make sure she was good. So I'm all good. Eve is all good. Peter is all good. James Boy did not nap today, but he's in good spirits. I'm ready for this food. I just looked at that past clip. My hair is crazy. <laughs> Ooh, I got a Monte Cristo. Yeah, I love Monte Cristo on pump. I haven't had one since we've been. I mean, obviously that's a plant-based one, but this feels heavy. Is it mine? Oh, oh my gosh. That's Look like the that classic pickle. sandwich. Look at those pepperoncinis. I don't know, but are you jealous? Yeah. You want a splitsy? Mm -hmm. 
Maybe. Sarah bigger. got the, what's funny is I tried ordering this online, but it wasn't working. When I tried ordering this, I added this to the order and then I took it off. So I was like, no, we don't need it. Oh, oh. Those are jalapeno poppers. And ranch. Oh. And look at these shakes. Should we, I feel like we should do splitsy. At least on the sandwiches. How is it? Tastes vegan? I got the vanilla, it's hopefully it's like, not like the banana like vanilla. Darker chocolatey than I realized. Good, let's manja. Oh, look at someone's playing with some toys. Peter, what did we do? We took a nap. <laughs> That's what I was referring to. <laughs> My brother stopped by. Yeah. Peter's brother Michael, his wife Kim, and their daughter Berkeley stopped by. I had a terrible work day that's I have to still do work at some point tonight. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. We took a nap. We've just been relaxing. We had like our our lunch was late, but I know we're gonna be hungry again. Um and we're gonna go live at eight, which we haven't done in a long time. But otherwise we've just been relaxing. I'm still in my jammies. You think you're cute? <laughs> Show everybody your, your developing skill. Ooh. We sit and we play. I hold his hand every once in a while. He's got it. Every once in a while. He falls over. <laughs> But it's like so funny, like he's hyper aware of this and I'm like hyper intensely watching him. But this is actually probably the longest he's done it. Yeah, I don't think I've seen him do it this long before. He's gonna be such a big kid. Also, I had a costume change. Costume change? <laughs> he can sit. <laughs> I was gonna show you guys how we practice. Wow, James, good job. sweet you were such a good girl during our live stream we are doing our first round of cloth diaper so finger cross that goes well hey hey you were also such a good kid during our live stream what a fun live stream so we just finished the live stream we were on there for a little over an hour we talked about it at the end of it would you be interested in a midweek live stream. We've been talking about potentially bringing back the weekend live stream, probably Saturday instead of Sunday because Peter's long runs are Sunday. But we really had a great time, like on the couch. I know it's hard because like a lot of our UK viewers or viewers around the world wouldn't be able to make it. Um, but we could potentially be like, once a month we would do a weekend vlog and then make the weeknight vlog a thing. Maybe not as late because we didn't go live until like 8 p.m. Central um, time. I don't know, put in the comments below if that's something you'd be interested in. I figure it's kind of similar where like you would be watching TV, so why not hang out with us live? Whereas like the weekend you might be doing your own thing. I think it's a good idea. I think it could be fun. Peter's got some work to do. Ooh. And I, I don't really know what else the, the night holds, but I, I, have a, I have a feeling it's gonna be a late one. Do you want to hang out with your dad? Do you want to hang out with your dad? Huh? Yeah? Let's go to the couch, okay? So, we ate a really late lunch, which caused us to not eat dinner. But now it's 10 o'clock and we're hungry, so I am going to make some bruschetta. So I'm gonna make it in a container that'll go right in the fridge, whatever we don't eat, because we are team minimized dishes. Um, here are all the ingredients. I'm going to use balsamic vinegar, like in the actual mixture, and then I'm gonna put the glaze on top of our pieces of bread. Olive oil, I'm gonna do three tomatoes, I think. Maybe another one, but maybe, I think maybe just three. Salt and pepper. I really need to get some like fancier salt. I love flaky salt, but don't have any. So just normal salt and pepper for tonight. Fresh basil, minced garlic, don't have fresh garlic either. Um, and then this is what I'm drinking while, while I'm preparing it. So super simple, just chop it all up. 
eat it on some bread. Delicious, simple. I'm excited about it. Evie's gonna get, oh, here she is. I knew you'd be here. There she comes, just a walking down the hall, saying, "Ooh, here <laughs> is some really good homemade bruschetta." Ten o'clock bruschetta, why not? Then work time. Two hours later. All right, today's the fourteenth of April. Carol King is the author of the message today. You've got to get up every morning with a smile on your face and show the world all the love in your heart. I need to. I need to tell myself that more every day. I do. So, things I can work on. So I finished the work I think I needed to get done. It's 12.15 in the morning. Hey, good. I, yeah. I thought I was having two um, and a half major meetings tomorrow that I was not looking forward to or prepared for earlier in the day. Then I just looked at my schedule as I was submitting some files just now. Um, and one of the one I was, I still need to do more work for is Friday afternoon. So that's good. Um, I also really want some pancakes after they showed some pancakes on How I Met Your Mother. We better know How I Met Your Mother. Erickson is... He is your humor. Yeah, he's my humor and he's like one of my favorite TV characters ever. What if Marshall and Winston had a, a show together? That'd be hard. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>